So Emma, thank you for speaking to our young people this morning. Deeply appreciate that and all that you've shared with us for all ages, of course. Um, we're going to affirm our faith at this point, And I've put a little creed on the screen. And these are great words as we indeed stand on the threshold of a new year 2021. So let me ask these questions. And again, in the bolder print is where you respond. Let's commit ourselves to do this. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took on human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. Well, this is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Sunday in the Methodist Church is what they call Covenant Sunday, and they have a covenant service. And it's something that the Wesleys indeed introduced into Methodism, that they would commit themselves to God for the year ahead. And today, again, with that close bond that we have with our Methodist brothers and sisters in the Church of Ireland, I want to take that prayer of John Wesley's, and I want us to pray it. It's not the easiest of prayers to pray. It's a prayer of surrender, of giving over everything to God, and indeed putting his kingdom first in our lives. And of course, we pray that, don't we, in the Lord's Prayer? But I want us to take those words that are going to be on your screen, and it's not just today, as we stand on the third Sunday of this new year, but it would be a prayer I would encourage you to pick up and pray every day. But as we commit ourselves, and indeed as we pick up this covenant prayer, let's pray it sincerely from our hearts as we commit ourselves afresh to God this day. <laughs> 